Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your master of ceremonies, Mr. Ted Basilian. Oh, thank you so much. That was me doing my own introduction, by the way. That, that way they know, I usually, oh, one of the greatest people in the world, donates all his kidneys, whatever, but uh, I kept it simple tonight. Hello, Milton! Yes! That is the first time I have ever said that in my entire life. It was on my bucket list, now it's checked off. I have a very simple bucket list. Do not climb the Andes, no, just go to Milton and say hello, Milton, and then drive back to Toronto. Tomorrow, I'm gonna wear two different colored socks. Again, bucket list, very simple things. Anyways, but it is great to hear. What a beautiful theater you have here in Milton. This is spectacular. I don't know who paid for it, but my goodness, treat them well. Yeah, right over here, everybody here? <laughs> Thank you, giving us me a place to stand and do this. So, have we got some Stompin' Tom fans here tonight? Well, we have got a room full of Stompin' Tom fans, and we've got Stompin' Tom fans all over the world watching. We are being podcast all across the world. I understand there's people in Italy watching this. I don't know what time it is, but stay up. Grazie. I don't know. That's all the Italian. I, I, I don't even know any words. What's an Italian word? Pizza. Pizza, my friend. Pizza. And they just turned it off and went, stupid Canadian. It's enough of that. Oh, man. But no, we have a terrific show for you tonight, folks. I uh, don't want to stand out here yammering too long. I want to bring out the founder, the originator of Whiskey Jack, Duncan Fremlin. Come on out here. It is an evening of songs and stories of Stop and Tom, so we thought we'd start with a couple of stories. Duncan, how are you? Hey, Ted. I'm really great, thanks. Yeah, look at this crowd. Hey? You've already got a taste of the Stop and Tom uh audience, eh? They're unique people. Enthusiastic good people, I would say. Very good people. If you needed a, a leg up, these are the people to go if to. If you need a shirt, they'll give it they'll to give you. They'll give you the shirt off They'll give back. you the shirt. If you need a few bucks, that's a different story. <laughs> All right, that just stopped me from going out there. Uh, so, Duncan, uh, how exciting is this for you to be here tonight? Imagine, imagine. Uh, Canada's 150th celebration. I don't know, you're too young to remember uh, Expo or 67. I was there. Yeah. With uh, my family. Uh, I was eight years old. Well, there you go. It was huge, but this no, was No, really, huge. I was eight years old. Yeah. Uh, please. No, no, honestly, I was... I know they can't... Okay, they can believe it. Okay. A little hard to believe they're yeah. dead. Yeah, no, they believe it. But imagine for us being able to cruise the country playing this music, uh, Mr. Canada himself, uh, on Canada's sesquicentennial. I used to say, I like to say that Tom would call it sexy centennial. But uh, we'll call it sesquicentennial. So it was pretty, it's been a pretty big deal. We've gone all across the province. We've gone north, we've gone south. We played for uh, the people in Timmins and Wawa and uh, here in Milton and Toronto. It's been fantastic. And where are you going next? We're going to Port Dover, so the, the Sesqui, yeah, Woo, the, Sesqui, the Sesqui Centennial Tour is winding down. We're gearing up for the 2018 tour, which will be a little different. There's something special about this, this show that you'll hear shortly. Um, but we have one more, and then we're going to rehearsal for 2018. Fantastic. Let's talk about the man, Duncan. Yeah. Stop and Tom. Yeah. Tell me some of your memories of working with Tom. One of my favorite stories, Ted, is the very first show we did with him on the 1993 tour was Canada Day on Parliament Hill in front of, if you've never been there, they tell me it was 500,000 people. And it was a beautiful summer day. It was broadcast coast to coast on the CBC. And they had given, they've been ask, asking Tom to do this for a long time, but I guess they finally ponied up enough money and he decided to do it. But the condition was, because he was a smoker, was that they needed a place to smoke. So imagine, we're in Confederation Room, which is this beautiful 23-foot ceiling, a 50-foot marble table. This is where all the big decisions in the country are made. And here's Tom and his merry men of musicians sitting around. We got a cooler full of beer. We have an ashtray on the table that big. We got our feet up in the table, and you can't see the other side of the room for cigarette smoke. Only in Canada with this. He's the only guy allowed to do that. <laughs> the only Except guy. for Sir John A. MacDonald, but he's, he's not with us anymore. Yeah, so the smoking was always fun. So it's interesting, as Tom's career went on, uh, all of a sudden all these rules, I mean, he used to smoke on stage anywhere he wanted. All of a sudden all these <laughs> rules come in. I remember I was at your Massey Hall show. Right. And 
You couldn't smoke. So they had to rent a trailer and block off half of Victoria Street right. in downtown Toronto right. so Tom could go out and smoke uh, <laughs> at the intermission. Yeah, he had a trailer at Mariposa in 1990, and uh, he had uh, newspapers who come in to interview him. And you got to understand, it's this tiny little trailer, and you could hardly see him across the table. For, they didn't. It was the shortest interview ever, I'll tell you. They had to get out of there. Some of those reporters are still not with us. No. Yeah. No. So what about? Uh, you, know, you told me a funny story once about your contract when you're on the road. Yeah. Well, it was. We had to. Uh, it was in the contract that one of us, Tom, never slept much. So. It was in the contract that one of us had to stay up all night with, with him and, uh, and you know, <laughs> the novelty wore off rather co <laughs> fairly quickly. <laughs> so maybe the second or third, I just remember uh, second or third time, uh, you know, it's three o'clock in the morning, I can hardly keep my eyes open and I'm saying, I'm going to bed, Tom. And he said, you sit down, you little prick, you're not finished with you yet. <laughs> it's in the contract. Okay, Tom, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Not going anywhere. The law's the law. Yeah. Well, anyways, I know you've got a great show, so what do you say we get the band out here? Let's do that, Ted. Whiskey Jack, come on out here. Here they are, folks. <laughs> Feel free to go nuts in the mosh pit tonight. You know, it's the uh, head-banging music. But anyways, you're in for such a treat. And just to let you know, at intermission, I'm going to be out in the lobby, and I'm going to be chatting with you and getting some interviews and whatnot. So uh, I'll see you out there. What do you think, Duncan? You guys ready to roll? Well, it sure, let's see, how, how do you tell when these guys are ready? They're just ready all born, the time, they're born Ted. Ready. They're born ready. They are. Let me ask you, audience, are you ready? Yes, you are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Whiskey Chair. One, two, three. Well, we sailed away at the break of day to put traps in old skin trousers. On the Susie Jack, tonight we're back with a thousand pounds of lobster. up a little bit louder. The French girl's singing and the fiddles are swing and the squeeze box quick in his pocket. Tonight I'm due to push back soon. She brought for Margie home a cowsy 
dumsy cluck With Margie being a farm girl Well, she nearly took a fit To find the cozy dumsy cluck Was really made of it Well, the cluck was from Toronto When her mind was soon made up She said to Reggie, get the They said the sooner you make her big Cause Margo got the cargo by Reggie's got the rig Reggie's got the rig Reggie's got the rig And she dumped her load of dung When she finally found the office She was singing and doing a jig Cause Margo got the cargo by Reggie's got the rig Reggie's got the rig Reggie's got the rig Margo got the cargo by Reggie's got the rig Now it was later in the evening When they heard from Mr. Judge I don't know what to give you, but I'll never hold a grudge. No, I think a thousand dollars would be fair to hand you down. And 30 days of lodging will be free upon the town. Well, Margie said to Reggie, ha, what a hell of a deal we struck. We might have lost the cow by, but we still got the truck. Now they're headed back to Newfoundland. They're loading up the pig, cause Margo got the cargo by. I decided I'd go down to the tropics of Canada. Now that's a way down below the, I think it's down below the 53rd parallel or somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I gets down and they, and they grows tomatoes and stuff down there. So I might as well get right into that right away and tell you what happened. <laughs> Sunday. 
Saturday they said, okay, let's cut the cake on Monday. Well, Sunday came, and what a shame. They had no one to fetch it. So they just sat and ate potato chips and ketchup. So dress them up with French cheese, ketchup. Ketchup loves potatoes. Ketchup loves potatoes. Howard, take us down to the islands. And a little girl, two spuds and one tomato. Well, they were up around old Leaky Town. And boy, when they got hungry, the bottle dripped all over the chips way down in ketchup country. Big size, French fries, how they love tomatoes. So dress them up with Heinz ketchup. Ketchup loves potatoes. Ketchup loves potatoes. Ketchup loves potatoes. I have to thank uh, the president of the Stomp and Tom fan club. John Arsenault is in the audience for, for uh, in, uh, correcting me and, uh, and telling me that it's French's now and it's not Heinz anymore. So uh, pardon us, we sometimes forget that, but uh, I had to throw it in there, guys. I hope you don't mind, but we did get a round of applause for that. Did you notice that? <laughs> uh, we are so happy to, uh, to be here in Milton. We, uh, as, as we mentioned earlier, we've been on tour with this show for, for, all, for the entire summer. We've been north, we've been south, we've been East, we've been west. It's really been fantastic, and uh, we're going to uh, continue our journey here in Milton, Ontario. And let's do. Tom always thought of himself. Uh, I've heard him talk about this in interviews, etc. As a as a lyricist, or uh, I like to call him uh, Canada's poet laureate. He should have been named that many times. And this is a perfect example of that. Randy. One, two, three. <laughs> For the fish that he caught, so he had to use the big dipper. And the sun by Joe was a very good stove for cooking up smelts and kippers. Well, you, you might think it's goofy, but the man in the moon is an infant. He's sailing on to glory, away in the golden glory. The 
lights that seem so bright like nothing could be grander. They're just waves with a moon boat made like a Newfoundland commander. Now don't you sigh and say, oh my, what a gross exaggeration. They'll tell you the dream was true and codfish Dan awakens. Well, you might think it's goofy, but the man in the moon is a newfie. He's sailing on with glory, away in the golden All the tours I was on with Tom, he always had a great fiddle player. Tom played fiddle himself. Uh, and uh, first, the first tour was uh, the great J.P. Cormier, and the second tour was, uh, was uh, Randy's mentor, uh, Graham Townsend. And we just happened to have, in, we just happened to have Canada's best fiddle player here playing with us today. Thank you. Many years ago, uh, Randy went up to the Bluegrass Awards in Huntsville, Ontario, and he had already won the award four times. And we got word that night that he won it for the fifth time in a row, ta uh, national bluegrass, Canadian bluegrass fiddle champion five years in a row. Yes, yes. So they had to retire, they had to retire the, uh, the award because otherwise no one else was going to win it. But, uh, but we have to, uh, with great pleasure, offer to you Canada's number one fiddle player, Randy Morrison.
the great Randy Morrison. You'll be hearing more of him. Stompin' Tom here, as a small Canadian from the smallest province in Canada, who never thought he was anything more than a Canadian, I'd like to wish all Canadians a very happy birthday, and this is a year when we have to prove that we are Canadians, that we'll always be Canadians, we'll stick together through thick and thin, no matter from where we're from. We may be indigenous, or we may be from other countries, but whatever we can do, to keep this country together. As Stomp and Tom from Skinner's Pond, happy birthday, Canada. Oh, Canada, standing tall together. We raise our hands and hail our flag, maple leaf forever. It's Canada Day, up Canada Way, on the first day of we're shouting hooray up Canada Day For the maple leaf flies high The silver jets fly east to west They're streaming through our skies We're shouting hooray up Canada Day As the great parade goes by Oh Canada, standing tall together We raise our hands and hail our flag The maple leaf forever It's Canada Day, up Canada Way, on the shores of Labrador. We're shouting hooray, up Canada Day, for the great Pacific shore. People everywhere have a song to share on Canada's holiday. From Peely Island in the sunny south to the North Pole far away. Canada Day, up Canada Way, on the long cold winter's done. We're shouting hooray, up Canada Day, for the great days yet to come. The maple trees grow maple leaves, and the northern sun is high. We're Canadians and we're born again on the first day of July. Oh, Canada, standing tall together, we raise our hands and hear our flag. The maple It's Canada Day, up Canada Way, from the lakes to the prairies wide. We're shouting hooray, up Canada Day, on the St. Lawrence Riverside. People everywhere have a song to share on Canada's holiday. From Peely Island in the sunny south to the North Pole far away. Oh, thank you very much. Well, Jen, we get to, uh, we've been, every stop this, this, uh, this summer, uh, we have, uh, you're going to go that way and I'll go this way. Can we bring up the house lights, please? We were instructed by uh, our premier to check on the educational system around the province to see how we're doing in geography. And uh, Tom wrote a song called Name the Capitals. And... Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with each province. There's a verse, and you're now I tell you, Wawa and Huntsville, they went crazy. Uh, they were amazing. And uh, Ted, is Ted around? Ted, are you gonna help uh, dole out some of these gifts here? Yeah, come on. Uh, Jim's got some gifts over here. We've given away about thir just a thirty-seven thousand dollars worth of gifts this year. I think something like that. But who's counting? So the idea is. I go through the provinces and you yell out the capitals and if you can get the attention of these two charming people here, you just might get a gift. Ottawa is a mighty good town, they never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Ottawa, the land that we love, can anyone here name the capital of British Columbia? Pretty good, pretty good, not bad. 
you're gonna get louder, I'm sure. In Wawa, they started taking their clothes off. That's how desperate they were. Victoria is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Victoria, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Alberta? Somebody said Calgary, uh, he must be punished. I'll tell you, there's another rule here. If you, if, you, if you yell out the answer before I get to the right pause, then you will be ejected from the room. That just will not be allowed. Edmonton is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Edmonton, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Saskatchewan? Regina is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Regina, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Manitoba? Okay, now here, here's the thing about this next province. We've been traveling north and south, and I gotta tell you, when you get north of Perry Sound, they're not too keen on the you know, they're not too keen on southern Ontario. Did you know that? I know there's a lot of people here from uh, north of uh, Perry Sound. Me and one, there's another one right over there. There's another one right over there. So we're gonna do it this way. Northern Ontario's a mighty, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> Winnipeg is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Winnipeg, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Northern Ontario? Right answer over there, Sault Ste. Marie. I'm from the Sioux. Sault Ste. Marie, what do you mean? This man is, is incredulous that we would name Sault Ste. Marie the capital of Northern Ontario. Sault Ste. Marie, the mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Sault Ste. Marie, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Quebec? Quebec City is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Quebec City, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of New Brunswick? Fredericton is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Fredericton, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Nova Scotia? Give that woman, look at her, she, she deserves something. Give that woman something. And, and there's somebody, how are you gonna get gifts up there, you guys? You're out of luck. Halifax is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Halifax, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Prince Edward Island? Charlottetown is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Charlottetown, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Newfoundland? Regina. Somebody said Regina. St. John's is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to St. John's, the land that we love. Can anyone here name the capital of Canada? Ottawa. Ottawa is a mighty good town. They never turn the maple leaf upside down. Here's to Ottawa, the land that we love. And here's to the maple leaf flag that flies up in Canada's sky up above. Give yourselves a hand. Boy, it's a good thing I didn't play hockey today. I wouldn't have been able to do that. Jeez. I can do one in a day, but not. <laughs> yes, Canada 150. We're living in a fa pretty fantastic place, aren't we? I was serious, though. Wawa, 
<laughs> well, they were pretty excited up there, and uh, they, we, we played there June 30th for the uh, unveiling of the goose. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I'll tell you, it's it's great. The first one, it got, uh, it, you know how all the hippies up there used to, used, they used to get stuck in Wawa on their way out west, and uh, some of them, you know, ended up living there, so they couldn't get out. I think the reason the first goose it got rotten was all the hippies were pissing on it. But the new one, the new one is, uh, it stands so high, they can't, I don't know how they'd get it up there, Jed. <laughs> they'd have to stand on a stepladder or something. Uh, just give me a sec there, Jen, so I want to introduce it. Well, we're going out to uh, Prince Edward Island, out yeah. to uh, good old Stomp and Tom territory. The song is called Confederation Bridge. Here's a song that Stomp and Tom wrote about something from Toronto. Unheard of, you say, unheard of. It's about the TTC. How many people here ride in the TTC? Yeah, one or two. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Come on, put your hands together. I've been a streetcar driver about a dozen years I know that old Toronto city well There's a whole lot of people waiting on the track For the signal from my clanging trolley bell Cause I'm a TTC skedaddler I got a socket to my big red rattler I got a socket to my big red rattler Put the pole up on the wire the switch it's time to get old rattler sparking through she's red around the bottom and she's yellow on the top i drive her like a driver ought to do 
Everybody sing. Now my TTC ski daddler. I got a socket to my big red rattler. I got a socket to my big red rattler. Come on, rattler. Howard, help me. Kids. They often take the trolley to the park They know their daddy's driving all the people here and there But I'll be back again to pick them up at dark So have your ticket ready when I open up the door And kindly move yourself back down the aisle I'll drive you down to work and I will bring you home again And I will try to render service with a smile Cause I'm a TTC I got a socket to my big red rather. I got a socket to my big red rather. Come on, Randy, take me downtown. to ride the TTC. It gets me here and there in wonderful fashion. So I'm sing that first verse again and it goes like this. I've been a streetcar driver about a dozen years. I know that old Toronto city well. There's a whole lot of people waiting on the track for the signal from my clanging trolley bell. Everybody, cause I'm a TTC ski daddler. I got a socket to my big red rattler. I got a socket to my big red rattler. I'm a TTC skedaddler. I got a socket to my big red rattler. I got a socket to my big red rattler. I got a socket to my big red rattler. I got a socket to my big red rattler. Broadview Station. Change here for trains going east and west. Thank you. fun playing for you, lots of laughs, lots of tunes. We hope to see you often, we hope to see you soon. It's just like a Stompin' Tom show, not too polished, not too tight, but we hope you take a CD home tonight. Cargo Margo brought to town Then there's Bob and Bud the Spud Randy's fiddling did us down I like to sing about the North While Howard's harp notes sound just right We hope you take a CD home tonight Is 
this a hell of a band or what? Also on the stage tonight is Eric Jackson and his bass. His notes are nicely placed. He plays with such good taste. On drums is Alan Cross. How he hits them is just right. Hope you take a CD home tonight. We hope you take our drummer home tonight. We hope you cough up 20 bucks tonight. All right. Give us that signature lick there, Douglas. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We're going to take a short break after this. You know that lick. It's one of his signature licks. We would play that lick when Tom came on the stage. We would play that lick when Tom went off the stage. We would play that lick when Tom went to the bathroom. That's how important that lick it is. Hey, Doug, let's try and play that lick again. Isn't that great? It's just new. Isn't that just poetry right there? So we have a very special guest for the second show. We got a couple of amazing surprises. We are streaming live on the internet. We want to say hi to Norm in Italy. We want to say hi to Judy and John in Spokane and Janice and Dan in Vancouver and Bob Harris in Victoria and Rob in Victoria and who else? Justin in Ottawa apparently is watching tonight. And we're pretty sure, we're pretty sure, we're pretty sure that guy in North Korea, he's not watching because it's too happy. It is not allowed there. We'll see you after the break, folks. Well, the girls are off to bingo, and the boys are getting stinko. We'll think no more of bingo on a separate Saturday night. The glasses they will tinkle, and our eyes begin to twinkle. We'll think no more of bingo on a separate Saturday night. And there's Irish Jim O'Connell and Scotty Jack McDonald. Hunky Fred Rehearsal getting tied, well that's all right. There's Happy German Fritzy and Frenchy getting tipsy. And even Joe the Gypsy knows it's Saturday tonight. Now when Mary Ann and Mabel come and join us at the table and tell us how the bingo went tonight, we'll look a fright. But if they got the money, we'll be lapping up the honey. Cause everything is sunny, boys, it's Saturday tonight. Well, the girls are up to bingo and the boys are getting stinko. We think no more of bingo on a Saturday night. The glasses say will tinkle and their eyes begin to twinkle. We think no more of bingo on a Saturday night. tomorrow cause everything is wonderful tonight and we're on tight we ate the deli pickle we forgot about the nickel and everybody's tickled boys it's saturday tonight now the songs that we'll be singing might be wrong but they'll be ringing now the lights of town are shining bright and we're all tight we have to work on monday tomorrow is only sunday and we're out to have a fun day boys it's saturday tonight Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in about 15 or 20.
my goodness, you're full of beer, wine, and potato chips, and ready to go. Another 45 minutes of awesome music. Italy, how you doing? Pizza? You're still up? I don't know. It's tomorrow there. I don't know what's going on in Italy, but I understand the, uh, the live stream is looking beautiful. We've got a lot of people watching in, and uh, you've been a big part of the show. So anyways, without further ado, let's get them back here. Whiskey Jack. Hey, Whiskey Jack, where are we going tonight? We're going to the barn dance tonight. Got my dancing boots on, got my Sunday best. Going to the barn dance tonight Got a date with my gal, the one I love the best Going to the barn dance tonight Talking about your strutting, just watch me put it on I don't begin to get my wind till the break of dawn And they'll still be dancing when all my friends are gone Going to the barn dance tonight singing going to the barn dance tonight talking about your strutting just watch me put it on i don't begin to get my wind till the break of dawn and i'll still be dancing when all my friends are gone going to the barn dance tonight take it away howard Sweet, going to the barn dance tonight. Do see do and balance and swing them off their feet. Dancing with the Islanders tonight. Drink a little whiskey, how good it makes you feel. Eight or nine, you won't mind the blisters on your heels. Grab your gal and squeeze her and listen to her squeal. Going to the barn dance tonight. We're going. Dance tonight. Yes, we're going to the barn dance tonight. One, two, three. 
Randy Morrison, Randy Morrison. Of course, that first song was uh, from, a, from a show that brought Tom, Tom to the national spotlight. He, he, he played it many times. It was the old Don Messer show. And uh, the second song was just a whole bunch of fiddle tunes that we put on the YouTube a couple of years ago, and we're up to 100 and 106,000 people have seen Randy play that song on YouTube. I'd say that for fiddle music, that's viral. I want you to understand that there was something that happened a few years ago when the Shania Twain, Mu Twain, Shania Twain Museum was opened in Timmins. There was, there was a move. Three great Canadians secretly made their way to Timmins in one winter night. It was Leonard Cohen. It was Katie Lang. It was Stompin' Tom. And uh, they went, one flew, one went by bus, and one drove up. And they got there, and they happened to be the absolute worst storm of the year. And they got stuck in the Gaspésien Hotel with all the cigarettes and all the booze they could drink. And this is what happened. There's a rose, I suppose, that you heard of. She's as mild as a wild Irish wake. Like a thorn, she was born to be contrary. Like a boy was her joy raising cape. The wildest rose ever drove on the prairies behind the wheel of a big truckload of green. From her home down in Consort, Alberta, by the tracks of that old railway line, with her hair she could scare old Medusa, but she sang like a young Patsy Cline. It wasn't long till her songs got her landed the stage with her outrageous clothes. She had shirts over skirts, boots and trousers hanging down from this wild Alberta rose. Little K, little D, little L. She sang with a twang, Lady Katie. Lang. Speak to me of love, Randy. star just kept rising to fame with a voice that was new and exciting she was called to those Juno awards 
she leapt on the stage and she got one and she took it home to Alberta boy George little K little D little L A N G you know she sang with a twang Little Cadillac Little K Little D Little L A N G She danced around Like a raggy tag Little Katie Lamb. Two time Juno Award nominee, children's performer. Uh, uh, screenplay writer. He he writes for movies. He writes for TV. He's uh, he's been in the Canadian music establishment as a, uh, a multi instrumentalist for his entire life. Douglas John Cameron. <laughs> Back there on their Monica. From Perry Sound, Ontario, founding member of Canada's number one country swing band, the Bebop Cowboys. Yes. I was going to say a lot more, but uh, you're right. Mr. Howard Willett. Yeah, thanks so much. If you go home and check some of the albums from the 70s and 80s, uh, this fella has been a, a, a virtuoso on the, on the stage of, of many people that you've seen and heard. And uh, one of the certainly one of the best in the in the country. We are abs and we have him playing woodblock with whiskey jack. How about that, eh? <laughs> Mr. Al Cross on the drums from Montreal. <laughs> A fella also. I mean, this, this Toronto Star called these guys an all-star band. You can see why. Back here on the bass, uh, we met we met Eric uh, sometime in the in the seventies, and he was a great Dover player and a bass player at that time. And I, I when he start, joined us many years ago, I had to pinch myself that we were actually playing with this guy as well. He's uh, Humber River Valley boys. You may remember him from and uh, Terry Sumption. He plays jazz around Southern Ontario. His name is Eric Jackson from <laughs> Oshawa, Ontario. The newest member of the band, and certainly the one that's given the band, uh, elevated our game pretty substantially in pretty much all areas, not just our dress. Notice the little thing here, that's Jen, you know, so uh, the hat, that's Jen. She's uh, pretty much responsible for how most of us look, not all of us. <laughs> Great singer, uh, she plays, she has a trio, jazz trio, she plays around Ontario, She's, uh, she teaches voice, she's, again, just uh, adds, don't we agree, guys, has she added a lot? Yeah. Absolutely, Jen Cook. And uh, we all know this fellow over here, he, uh, he's from uh, the Brampton area, he's from everywhere, he just seems to, he's one of these guys that he learned, you know, they had to lock him into a closet. Imagine how many hours he spent learning to play the fiddle like that, and uh, he knows more about country music and the inflections, those little things than just about anybody I know, he's a huge addition to this uh, combo, and uh, we're grateful to have him, Randy Morrison. Jack sings a very fine song and plays a mean flat top guitar. Bob McNiven. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. The 
coordinator and originator of the Whiskey Jack. He plays the meanest banjo that you'll hear this side of anywhere. The leader of the Whiskey Jack himself, Duncan Fremlin. Thank you. I told you about a CD we did with Tom back in 1993. It's called Dr. Stomp and Tom. Re-released last fall by Universal Music. And uh, it, it has a lot of great songs on it, including this one. I'm just a blue moon away from your world today. A blue moon away from your world. No dreams of my own. I'm just here alone, a blue moon away from your world. I'm just a blue moon away from your love today, a blue moon away from your world. Like the stars up above, I'll fade from your love, a blue moon away from your world. For you, there's a new moon rising. He shines in your eyes like a pearl And though I appear to be gone, I'll be here A blue moon away from your world Thank you very much, thank you. We, uh, we would often get the call, I'd often get the call, Tom would uh, get me on the phone, he'd say, hey, Dunk, called me the coordinator of Whiskey Jack. The Whiskey Jack. Uh, the Whiskey Jack. We were always the Whiskey Jack. <laughs> say, hey, Dunk, uh, I'm having a party or I'm having a barbecue or something's going on up at the house, do you want to bring the band up? And I was absolutely thrilled to do that every time. And, and the very first time it was a barbecue around the pond and I was quite taken by the fact that uh, somewhere in the evening, uh, he and his lovely wife, Lena, uh, joined forces. And we would like to bring her to the stage and sing the song that they would always sing. Lena, Lena Connors. Thank you. Wow, this is a hard act to follow, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, you know, I'd just like to take a moment to thank these people because uh, when he passed five years ago, I thought, well, okay, this is the end of the Stomp and Tom music. But boy, was I surprised. Thank you so much. Whiskey Jack is keeping the music alive. And uh, yeah, please, please, thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, as Duncan said, this is a song that Tom and I actually did at, at a lot of parties we did at the house and other, other parties that we went to, like Tom was a party animal. So we sang it quite a few times. So anyway, I'd like to sing it tonight with Jan. Uh, we haven't sang this for a year. So, um, and I think uh, the next time we'll be singing it is at Hughes Room in Toronto at the celebration. That's right, February 11th. Right, yeah. The so new Hughes Room. Yeah, get your tickets early because it yes. sells out. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you. Okay, Jen, let's try this. Back in July 1st, well actually it was in the spring, uh, Tom's catalog was taken over by some lovely people at a company called Ole, and Serena and Andy are here from the company tonight and we're very, very honored to have them here. And on July 1st, Tom went to the 21st century. Before then we didn't have Instagram, he wasn't on Facebook or any of that, but now we're everywhere. We're, we're, we're everywhere, so we are, we're grateful and uh, we are also welcome to uh, join forces uh, on the July 1st 50th anniversary CD and we, were on, we had a song on there which we'll play a little bit later. And, uh, but it got me to thinking, you know, when they had a, uh, there was a, a magazine called the Canadian Geographic and they were trying to promote the fact that Canada does not have a national bird and so they were suggesting a bird, it was called the Canada Jay. There's another word for the Canada Jay, does anybody know what that is? A whiskey. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> so you can you can see how we are a little partial to the whiskey jack. So we thought, what would happen if Stomp and Tom was the national bird? So Bob and I got together and we kind of came up with this. Goes like this. One, two, three. <laughs> If Stomp Tom was a national bird, I wonder what he'd be. I doubt he'd be a robin or a pretty chickadee. 
His music would be mostly gray with a little touch of black. If Stumpin' Tom was an Ashton Bird, he'd be a whiskey jack. Whiskey jack. Oh, kind of If Stompin' Tom was a national bird, he'd stand on guard for thee. And when he sang the alphabet, it's X, Y, Z, not C. He'd swoop down to Lager's camp, grab a little snack. If Stompin' Tom was a national bird, he'd be a whiskey jack, whiskey jack. Now Stompin' Tom and Whiskey Jack, they're known from coast to coast. They've been to every camping town from south to northernmost. One's called a national treasure, one's called the Sucker Jack. If Stompin' Tom was a national bird, he'd be a Whiskey Jack, Whiskey Jack. Whiskey Jack. There was a fella that came to our very first uh, birthday celebration over just about five years ago. Now, God, has it been that long? It's hard to imagine. And uh, it was in Toronto, and he was sitting in the audience, and he really liked the show, and he called me up, and he said, would you bring it to Stratford? And he is the director, the artistic director for the Stratford Summer Music Festival, which has been going for a very long time. And it's, uh, he's uh, retiring in 2018, so um, we're, we're optimistic that we're going to be performing uh, this show at the, uh, at the Stratford Summer Music Festival with some very, very, very special guests. He, anyway, he's in the audience tonight, John. I just wanted to salute you, John. Thank you very much. John Miller. Without him, we really wouldn't be where we are today. Thank you very much. I'm going to drag our, uh, our harmonica player up here. Uh, you know, we always tell the story. Tom used to tell the story of when he was on tour with uh, Hank Snow and Wolf Carter and they played Peterborough. And uh, Tom kind of stole the show because when Hank got on, everybody started yelling for Stompin' Tom and Stompin' Tom. And uh, a good friend of mine, as it turns out, was a, 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 a newspaper reporter in town for the university. And he sent me a review that he did on that show the next day. And I have a copy of it. And it describes it exactly like that. And it... I, I, Hank was a little pissed off from what I hear. And uh, anyway, just to salute Hank Snow, Howard, would you uh, treat us to this? I'd love to do this. Okay. One, two, Listen to me, cuz I got a pretty woman in Tennessee. I'm moving on, moving on, rolling on. Moving on. You've been flying to half a mile sky. I'm moving on. Here's ready, folks.
listen to me. Got a pretty woman in Tennessee. I'm moving on. Moving on. Rolling on. Moving on. Well, you shovel the coal, you're gonna rattle and roll. Keep moving on. Moving on. You switched your end, you know, can't got time. A traveling woman on my main line. I'm moving on. Moving on. You done your daddy. Mr. Fine Post, listen to me. I got a pretty woman in Tennessee. Keep moving on. Moving on. Keep rolling on. Moving on. You got shovel the coal that's around the road. Keep moving on. Moving on. Keep moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Gotta go down south. You rolling on. I got rattling. Thank you very much. The great Howard Willett. So uh, while we're on, on to these stories, there's a, there's, a, uh, there's a good friend of Tom's. Uh, uh, they, were, they were out one night, Lucille Starr, who wrote the French song that Lena, beautiful Lena just sang, and uh, Ian Tyson and Ian Tyson's bass player were out carousing one night in the wee hours of the morning. They were three sheets to the wind, and, Ian had this great idea, come on back to my house. We'll, come, they, we'll have a jam session. So at 3 or 4 in the morning, they come back. And Ian has this better idea. He says, hey, I'll get Sylvia, who has been asleep for 4 or 5, 6 hours. I'll get, I want you husbands out there to think about this now. Uh, you come home, you're you know, feeling pretty good. She's been asleep for a long, long time. And now, he wanted Sylvia to come down and sing some harmony with Lucille. And I thought it was a pretty, pretty terrific idea. So. He, would, he did what I know what I, what I do. I sent the bass player up to get her. <laughs> According to Ian Tyson, that's exactly a true story. So to honor Ian, Jen, would you please? My pleasure.
you very much. So every year we hold a celebration in honor of Tom's birthday. And over these past five years, we have had an extraordinary number of performers wanting to pay their respects and their tributes to Tom. Some of them have been uh, Melanie Doan, Kim Stockwood, uh, the former Governor General Adrian Clarkson, and uh, <laughs> Melt My Heart, J.P. Cormier, who Tom gave $500 to when he was first starting out so he could buy some food and some clothes, <laughs> which is quite sweet of him. And two years ago, we had the great pleasure of having Mr. Gordon Lightfoot join us. Exactly. We were beyond thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> and really, he was everything that you would imagine him to be, you know, a generous, down to earth, and oh so funny. So he treated us to a song and then told a great story about how he had been on the wagon for 23 years until he spent an afternoon with Tom. <laughs> exactly. So last year, we heard rumors that he was going to join us again, and we thought, oh, come on. Could we be so lucky? But it was a typical Toronto uh, February winter. So there was a big storm, the traffic was terrible, it was slushy, it was cold, and we thought, I don't know, he has a ways to come. So we sing through the first set, and no sign of Gord. And uh, we had been waiting for him so that we could sing this next song. And uh, anyway, we started the second set and thought, well, doesn't look like he's going to make it, so let's just sing it. So we get through the first verse, the chorus, and then we see the whole audience, like, in a wave, turn toward the front door. And then who walks in? Mr. Gordon Lightfoot. I know! <laughs> it, it couldn't have been more perfect. It was really such a magical moment. And he came on stage, said a few words, and, uh, and said hello to us. And... I'm telling you, I mean, I am the greenest one on stage here, and I was so thrilled. But afterwards, and this is one of the things I love about these guys, is that afterwards I talked to everyone, and everyone was equally thrilled to meet him. He's just such a great guy. And so, in honor of not only Tom and Gord, but to all the people that support singers, songwriters, Canadian or otherwise, and just to be proud Canadians, this is a winter's night. <laughs>
So, excuse me, Jen, excuse me, Jen. So about 39 years ago, um, actually I'll go back a little bit further than that. Uh, uh, my, we started this band, this is our 40th anniversary. And uh, thank you very much, thank you. And we were in the early stages of our career and we were cruising the country and we were at a festival in, uh, I think it was Penetangosheen up that way one day. And my partner John Hoffman and I were standing in the audience watching one of the other bands perform. It was a band called Derby Saunders and McNiven. And at the time, we were just looking around, trying to meet people, and we saw this guitar player, and we said to each other, you know, that guy, he would fit pretty well into our band. Well, as it turns out, about six months later, a guitar player of the time resigned, so we put an ad in the Toronto Star. And I, I, de I desperately tried to find out who that guy was, and I couldn't find him, but Lord, what happened was, he called me. He called him from the ad. This tiny little lad in the Toronto Star. Well, that was, he still got the ad. That was 39 years ago. Well, I'm sorry to say that Bob's going to be retiring from Whiskey Jack very soon. And I, yes, yes, we're devastated here in the band. But uh, I know you didn't want to make a big deal out of it, Bob. You're a humble guy. But, and we won't. We're not too big a deal out of it. But I was told many years ago that uh, I overheard someone ask a, a really established banjo player, how do, you, uh, how do you make a career out of playing banjo? And he said, well... Uh, Find yourself a guitar player and don't let them get away. <laughs> and that's really what I did. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Bob McDevitt. <laughs> Whiskey Jack wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Bob McNiven. And you know, every band has a signature song. And Bob brought this song to the band when he joined us. And we've been performing it. We've performed it in the States. We've performed it on TV at the Tommy Hunter Show. We performed it at every Stomp and Tom show we did. It's a song Bob wrote, and uh, it's one of our favorites. Bob, would you bless us? Yeah. We're going to miss you, pal. If time makes a difference to a love that we once shared, then one more time, let's remember we once cared. Help me out, Jim. Just one more time, let me hold you in my arms. I used to think that I could keep you from all. time. 
time Say you love me one last time issues. Well, skates a flash, the players dash, the home team trails behind, and they grab the puck and go bursting up, and they're down across the line. They swarm the crease like bumblebees, travel in a burning flame. Someone slides the puck inside, it's a 1-1 one -one hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game. Douglas John Cameron over there in the guitar. Thank you. Howard Willett back here on the harmonica. Thank you so much. Jen Cook on vocals. Oh, yeah. L Cross back here on the drums. Eric Jackson back here on the stand-up bass. Big Bob McNiven over here on the guitar. Randy Morrison over here on the fiddle. My name is Duncan Fremlin. We wish you good night after this. We thank you all so much for uh, keeping the Stomp and Tom memory and and all the great stories alive. Thank you very, very much for coming. Oh, take me where the hockey players face off down the rink. And the Stanley Cup is all filled up with a chance to win the drink. One final flick of a hockey stick and one gigantic scream. The puck is in the leaf swing. The good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game. You're too kind, really. You're too kind. Well, we have, you know, the part of part of our problem is we have so many great songs that we wish we could play them every all every night, but we just have too many we can't. But we do have some special guests. There is one special guest in the audience tonight who went really above and beyond the call of duty for Stomp and Tom, and her name is Susie Collins. And uh, yes, yes. Well, so I I, uh, I emailed her. She's 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 a Fremlin. She's related to me, lives in Mississauga, 
And uh, I emailed her a few weeks ago and said, I got this show in Milton. Do you think you could bring the crew? And well, she said, sure. So she emailed me and said, oh, I got five people. Great, great. And then a couple of days later, I got 10 people. Great. A few days later, I got, oh, I got 12 people. And next thing, it was 27 people. Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> then uh, last night, what was it? 47 people. She got a bus. There they are. Listen. Listen. Listen to them. Listen to them. So Susie's from the Sioux. Thank you, darling. We love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Barb and Brian, fans, longtime fans, uh, they changed their plans to go to Florida to come to this show, <laughs> to be with Bob. They wanted to be with Bob. We have Alan Dalton out there. He came to the Sioux. We, we, have, we have fans that come. Some of them come, if not to every, every show, many shows. And uh, these fans are, you folks are something special. So thank you very much. So we'll sing this out to Susie. It's a Sioux song. It's called Algoma 69. We'll just uh, bid you good night after this. Thank you very much, folks. She's on a bar hopping spree back in Sioux St. Marie. Because of me, she's like a falling star. She would have been true, but I left her in the Sioux and travel north upon her. Well, let's go home or be a rover. I made up my mind. Take me home tonight. I'll go to Central 69. I was working one day and I heard this fellow say he met my girl will drink in a bar. We fought between his two, but he swore that it was true. I cursed the day I rode on ACR. Go home and be a rover. I made up my mind. Take me home tonight. I'll go to Central 69. Here we go. Thank you, Lena. Thanks, Tom Jr. We appreciate the support from everybody. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.